You know, the thing is, is that all of these Queenslanders are renovated, manipulated, pushed and pulled in such a way that there's nothing left of the original character. Whereas this home is so original and so true to the essence of a Queenslander that it, it celebrates its former glory. It doesn't hide it. It puts it on display and there's a, a really beautiful respect that's been paid to it. And when you come here, you enjoy this tranquility of this this old Queenslander with a lot of history and a lot of soul. We're sitting on an impressive 1,647 square metres land, five bedrooms, you've got multiple living areas, little granny flat, huge pool, an incredibly beautiful vista, which is never to be sort of built out, sort of cascades down the hill and you look into the trees. It's a bit of a sanctuary, this home. Master bedroom, not white on white, beautiful deep blue. Stunning. Opening into this vista with the pond and the water feature. Beautifully executed ensuite that's as interesting as the rest of the house. And then move into this walk-in robe, which the blues continued, which I just love. In these chandeliers, which are the Marcel Wanders smoke, they're actually burnt wood, and then they're created in such a way. It's just such a playful and interesting take on everyday chandelier, which really goes with this house. This old wooden sideboard with a fascia around this fireplace was originally imported from America and it was for a hotel in Barrel. It looks a little bit like the back of Jack Sparrow's ship. But I mean, one of the things about this home is that I think it's gonna to appeal to most people is that there's such a variety of spaces to live and entertain. You've got sort of formal sitting areas, relaxed sitting areas, TV areas, multiple working fireplaces. And the kitchen's always the heart and the soul of the house and this one sort of sits in the middle. This limestone is absolutely stunning. But here you can go straight to the dining room or you've also got the breakout breakfast bar and then you've got the outside deck which is all connected easily. I've always loved Barton. I think it's one of those great suburbs. Right next to Paddington, you've got all the convenience of the cafes and the lifestyle. But the thing is about Barton is it's not squashed. We're not 405 blocks. We're not racked up and stacked up. I mean, here you've got this incredible outlook. I mean, just look at it. There's so much space. Well, I come here and I feel really calm. I really appreciate the craft the heart that went into building these homes in the time. And the fact that this house is pretty much retained to a lot of its original features and character. And like I said, essence, soul. That's the only way to describe it. That's the key word. I'm looking for a word. The word is soul. If you're after a home that feels like a home, that has the essence of a Queensland is still intact and still remains, then this is absolutely the property for you. Oh, no.